Welcome back. State lawmakers are looking into water quality issues across Wisconsin and plan a series of hearings across the state to ask questions and try to find some answers. From bad groundwater in northeast Wisconsin to contaminated well water in the southwestern part of the state, water quality has become a major concern. So the Speaker's Task Force on Water Quality just held its first meeting. We're turning now to the lawmaker leading it, Republican Representative Todd Novak of Dodgeville. He's at our Madison affiliate, WKOW-TV. Representative, good to have you on the show. Yeah, thank you for uh, having me, Matt. I want to start with something the DNR said that stuck out at, at your first hearing on Wednesday, paraphrasing a bit. But they said the bottom line is we literally have tens of thousands of people in this state who are no longer confident they can turn on the tap water and drink the water. Does that represent the scope of the problem you're, you're tasked with? Yeah, that's part of the problem, and I think too, um, in, in that answer that uh, the DNR gave, is that um, they want pe we want more people testing their wells. We need more people testing their wells. So there are 10,000 people out there or more that maybe not, don't know what's in their wells because they haven't had them tested too. So that's part of it. Broadly speaking, what is the goal of this task force, and what do you hope to accomplish? Well, the goal of the task force is to, you know, start from scratch. It's 16 members, bipartisan, and um, we're hoping to learn about water, study water. We're having 11 hearings across the state of Wisconsin. We're hitting every region. As you know, Matt, there's no area of the state that's geographically the same. So an issue in southwest Wisconsin with water may be an issue, a different issue in southeast Wisconsin. So the goal is, and then the end of this process will write a report and have, hopefully have some good bipartisan legislation, legislation come out. Uh, to that report and the recommendations you, you will provide to the legislature, are there certain parts of the state at this point that you see may have different recommendations than other parts of the states and, and may receive more resources? Um, that's a possibility. Um, we're, you know, like I said, I think that's going to come out. Um, you know, Wednesday at our hearing, listening to the departments, there's so much information. I think as we go around the state, we're going to hear from the stakeholders in that area about concerns um, that they're having and issues, and we're also going to hear of the public because we are going to have many public hearings. Too. Well, yeah, what insight have you received from residents so far? Um, they're very interested um, in what we're going to do. Um, there were a lot of residents, um, just individuals at our hearing Wednesday, just there to listen. So I expect these hearings to, to get um, a lot of input. Um, a lot of people show up, um, tell us about their concerns. Um, we are also going to be staffed full time by the DNR. They're going to be with the committee and they're going to work with us. So um, it's going to be a long process, but I'm looking some, for some good things to come out of it. What weight are you placing on more of the rural parts of the state as opposed to some of the major cities like Milwaukee, who has had documented cases of issues with lead in their water. Well, I would say, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be, you know, the hearings are um, tentative at this point, pretty much solid, but we will be in southeast Wisconsin. We're going to be in the Racine area. So with lead pipes, um, I'm, I'm, that'll be an issue we'll discuss there. I would say that Milwaukee is not the only municipality in Wisconsin that has lead pipes. You know, I think there's every municipality in the state probably does it at some level. Do you anticipate needing to ask the legislature for more money to help fund some of these recommendations? Yes, I think there will be some more money involved in here. You know, we, I'd like to increase conservation grants. Um, there's some great programs out there that we need to maybe put some more funding in. It's all on the table. We got to remember too, Matt, this didn't start overnight. This is generational. So solutions may take over, you know, we, we, hopefully the goal is to come with some great legislation at the, by the end of this session. And then the speaker has told me that he's willing to reconvene the uh, task force next session too. Yeah, and to that, I've heard some Democrats say, well, what took Republicans so long to get to the table on this issue? Well, I, I don't know if you're aware how this situation came up. Southwest Wisconsin is under the groundwater study, and the first um, initial results show that 42% of the 300 and some wells that they sampled in Grant, Iowa, and Lafayette came back with some contaminant, which raised the eyebrows of myself and Representative Travis Trannell, who represents Grant County. So we're like, we need to get to the bottom of this. This is popping up all over the state, these different issues. Ask the speaker to form a task force, which he so graciously did and has is, is, um, tasked us with uh, to do this study. Representative, it's, it's great to have you on. We look forward to having you back when you have your recommendations and this process moves forward. Thank you, Matt. It's great to be on. Next, jobs, lots of them, low unemployment, so why is there a crisis? 